What is going on guys? Today I have a fun one for you guys. I got a lot of requests to try out this product. You guys can't really see it from this point of view, but today guys we have the Blend Friend. So it kind of looks like some nice packaging. It says Blend Friend on the top, but uh, we threw a label right over top of it. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and throw this down. Super lightweight, not a lot in here. But let's open this thing up and check it out. Well. All right, so you guys can see Blend Friend blending tool, clipper size three millimeters, number one, made in the UK. Blend like a pro. Check out our website for tutorials and tips on how to use your Blend Friend. And here's the website, guys, www.blendfriend.com. So we're missing an eye here in case you guys are gonna look for it. It's B L E N D F R. E N D. So maybe if you spell bad, that might be how you spell friend, but that is not how you spell it. Anyway, guys, let's get this out. Get the box out of the way and check this thing out. So you can see some foam on it. There it is. So actually guys, at first glance, it's actually pretty quality looking. We got the logo right here with the, oh, that's clever. We got the two E's making a comb. So that's kind of cool. This says number one. I don't really know why it says number one, because obviously guys, this is like a big old thick guard. So it looks like right here, this is a comb. Basically you can comb it down and then we will take it like this, take our clipper up it and cut into it. So I guess the idea guys, more or less, when we take a flat top comb, we tilt it in the hair, we pivot it out and we take a lick. That's kind of the idea here, but I just realized we're not gonna be able to go this way. We're gonna have to go this way. So you guys can see it is a wider guard at the top, small at the bottom. So the idea is we can take it in the hair, put it like this, take our clipper, run it up these grooves, and we will create this shape right here, more or less, like I said, what we do with a flat top comb. So I don't really know why it has the number one on it, because like I said, it's not really a number one. Maybe this is a number one, so we can start at the bottom with a number one or fade into whatever this length is. Of course, we'll check it out and see, but then it blends up, and this, I guess, will help us kind of blend into the length on top. So I can see this being more of like a consumer product that they use to cut hair at home and things like that, but honestly, guys, if you're a skilled barber, I feel like we should be able to accomplish what we need with our flat top comb or any of the other techniques that we have. So I did get a lot of requests for this thing, guys. Honestly, nicer than I expected to feel when I picked it up, but we're gonna try it out for you guys today. So if you guys have any other things like this, not necessarily like this, but different things you guys see, maybe on TikTok, things like that, and you guys wanna see me test out, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and maybe we can get a hold of it and try it out. So like I said, this is the Blend Friend. Don't have to charge it up, don't have to do anything to it. So let me find somebody who will let me test this out on them. Maybe we can get Philip to do it and we will give it a run and see if it works. All right guys, I got my homie Drew in the chair, longtime client, so he doesn't mind if we test out the blend friend on him. Let me get that thing in focus. This is the blend friend. I just explained to him how it works and now we're gonna test it out on the side of his head. So he gets a haircut that is shorter than what this is gonna give us, so we're gonna test it out. I guess guys, basically we just take it straight in, turn the clipper on and cut straight up. Now his hair is wet on top because, oh, I forget we have this comb here. His hair is wet on top because it was laying a little crazy. Let's take it straight in. Straight up the blend friend. We're gonna have that little weight line on top, but I don't know about it. A natural instinct is to tilt it out like a flat top comb. First thing I noticed is just like the big clipper guards, it is not kind of feeding, the guard itself does not want to feed through the hair. It kind of pushes it out of the way. But uh, you know, the side of the head, I don't know if we call it consistent. All right, so now we're on the other side. Definitely this comb is, uh, I guess it does the trick, but it's a little small. But same thing guys, slide it straight up. This hair is dry, so this may work a little better for us. Definitely takes a couple licks because this guard doesn't feed all the hair perfectly. Straight against the head, you guys can see when I took that off, you can see the lines where the teeth were, so I don't know. It's definitely not uh, definitely not better than just using a flat top comb, but I can see where uh, maybe somebody that wasn't, you know, beginner barber or somebody at home that can't use a flat top comb, this might work. And then, like I said, guys, it does have a number one on the side. So here in a second, we're gonna take our number one and see, yeah, it's, it's pretty inconsistent. I gotta be honest. It is not feeding the hair that well. You see all these lines left from the, the guard itself? I'll go through it one more time and make sure it's cleaned up. 
he gets a shorter haircut than this, so I told him, you're safe. I'm not gonna mess you up. I mean, I might mess you up, but we can save the haircut, so. You guys can see there though, not, not a bad inconsistent side panel here. It gets a little funny back here on the round of his head. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it wants to feed the hair. You guys see like the weird, weird lines that we get. But the next test guys, we're gonna take a number one and see if a number one connects right into the bottom. So in that case, guys, this does work. Not as consistent as I would like, but you guys can see we have a transition up to the top, a one underneath, and it just doesn't feed the best. All right, y'all, we got Philip in the chair. He, he needs an actual real haircut, but we're gonna just see what the blend friend does. He got so much hair, I, you know, I don't wanna jeopardize the haircut, but we're gonna see. He was playing with it earlier, so we're gonna see. Just on another head, you guys saw it on the one already. But I think it's just funny how it feeds the hair. Cause it doesn't. Like now we coming down, you guys will see where these big teeth are. It doesn't even, doesn't even cut consistent. Kind of like when you take a guard through somebody's head and get those like lines where the teeth of the guard are. I don't know. Like I said in the last part, I think I think I can see this helping. I, I just had somebody comment the other day like, hey, I cut my hair at home. What's the best technique to blend the top end? Like you guys can see, like that's not the worst transition to the top, but it really is just pushing hair up out of the way. And I don't know, it doesn't cut that consistent. You guys did see you are able to take a one underneath. We'll go ahead and do it on Philip. He's gonna get a bald fade, but we are able to take a one to the bottom right here, up into where we started with the blend friend and get a nice little connection there. So not the worst, I mean, you know, if you're not very good, not very skilled with a flat top comb and you wanna get a little transition, I mean, that's all I'm gonna really do on Philip because we got to give him a real haircut. But you guys can see, I guess the idea would work, but to me, it's a big, uh, what's the myth busters? Busted! All right, guys, listen, man, I gotta be honest. I was gonna try to get you guys some more clips using the blend frame, but this thing is absolutely a joke. I can get the idea, I'm not gonna lie, like good idea for people that don't feel comfortable taking the flat top comb and tipping it out. But kind of the opposite of that, you have no, really no wiggle room to, you know, you just shove it in and this is what you get. So if you guys look, that's just kind of a weird shape. So didn't really work like I think it was intended to do. I hated using it if I'm being honest. Like I said, I can see the point, but absolutely not gonna be implementing this in the future. Honestly, I can't even recommend it for you guys. So I will put the website right there if anybody wants to look at it, but for me, it's definitely a no-go. But I know you guys love Barber Gadgets, so stay tuned, make sure, oh, make sure you're subscribed because we're about to check out this West Tech blade that just fell on the ground. Thank goodness for anti-fatigue mats, guys, that just saved that blade. So we'll be checking that out soon. And if you guys wanna see more Barber Gadgets, check out that video right there. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you next time.